Bhagavad Gita, text 2.45 The Vedas deal mainly with life within the jurisdiction of the three gunas. Arjuna, you should transcend these gunas, becoming indifferent to material dualities, fixed in truth, free from concerns for acquisition and comfort, and established in the self. Krishna's secondary potency, known variously as Prakriti, Maya Shakti and so on, is discussed throughout the Gita. It consists of the three influences known as the Gunas. The vast majority of the Vedas deal with fruitive action under the influence of the Gunas in the pursuit of religious life and heavenly attainment. The smaller and concluding portion deals with self-realization and experiential spiritual life, which involves transcending material dualities and freedom from concerns for one's maintenance, through acquaintance with the self-sustaining nature of the soul in the self-surrender of devotion. Krishna's use of the word sattva does not indicate that one should become situated in sattva guna, the material influence of goodness. For in the first line of this verse, he speaks of transcending all three gunas. Sattva guna begets knowledge, whereas bhakti gives birth to transcendental experience. The words nitya sattva staha imply remaining always in the association of devotees who have been characterized in the Bhagavata as truthful, sad. In his comments on this verse, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur stresses the futility of the paths of jnana and karma in terms of transcending the gunas. Citing numerous verses from the Srimad Bhagavatam's Uddhava Gita that correspond with this verse, Chakravarti Thakur offers considerable evidence that only Bhakti has the power to deliver one from the gunas and situate one in transcendence. Such Bhakti is near yoga kshema, free from the concerns for acquisition, yoga and maintenance kshema. The full sense of what it means to be free from concerns for acquisition and comfort is related in the 22nd verse of chapter 9 in reference to Bhakti Yoga. Any necessity Krishna's devotees might have for these two is seen to by Krishna himself.